Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on. You join me here on this lovely Friday morning. It's a really nice sunny day today and just showing the signs of spring being just around the corner. So, in today's video, I have got a few cattle to move about. As you can see behind me here, we've got this shed full of bulls. Now, these bulls here were separated into the two sections just behind me, as you can see over there. Uh, but recently, we've just been taking a few bulls out of this section here and taking them into the market. So we've got a bit more room in this shed. We have moved, uh, there were six bulls in that side. We've moved them over into this group here now. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be getting some muck from by that gate, shift these over into that section, that side get some muck from by the gateway, then move them back into here, get some more muck from the gateway over there. And then I've got some bulls and heifers mixed up just around the other side there. I'm gonna get the bulls out of them and then put them over here. So let's get right into it. There we go, they're moved over, so we'll just go and grab the JCB with the grab on and get that bucket from other gateway. Best remember to put the chain on. It's only a stapling latch and them latches can come out really easily. So the last thing we want is to come out here and see the bulls all over the yard because they would just make a mess. So we'll just open this door up, and get them back across. Okay, so there is the muck taken from the second gateway. Now, ideally, I'd like to have lugged all this shed out and got all this muck out of here, but there is one big problem with this shed. That being, as you can see, the raised barrier there. The problem in this shed we've got 
is it's a very low floor and the size of cattle we're bringing from over the other side are quite short. Therefore, if I take all the muck out of here, there's, there is a chance they won't be able to reach the barrier. Now we could put troughs in here, but troughs aren't really ideal. You, you get a lot of spillage on the floor because you're throwing it over the top of that barrier because we would feed with a barrier and not bags. And also with the water trough, I've had to be careful how much I take from there because if they can't reach that, then really it's not an option to bring them into this shed. So we'll get this bale pushed out in here and then we'll go around to the other side and start, because they're bulls and heifers, we will go around to the other side and I've got to sort them out and then bring them round and that is us done. <laughs> just come round the other side here um cattle are in the shed just over there i've just set the gate and the crush up now what i'm hoping to do let's just get the camera up there what i'm hoping to do is i'm going to filter the balls through the crush and put them out on that yard there and then if any heifers come in the way i'm going to push them just through that door there if not i'm hoping to keep them back here and push them back into the shed so let's uh, just set ourselves up and get the cattle out okay so we've got the bulls and Bulls and heifers are in this shed here. Plan is bring them through this door here. I'll, that's going to take a bit of opening by the looks, but it'll be all right. Then I'm going to bring them down here, just set a hurdle up there, and then down the passageway and then round the corner where the crush is. Hopefully it goes to plan. Usually they t are a nightmare to get out of this shed, so it could take a while, especially the fact there's a hurdle there, Ty. Yeah, this might be a bit more tricky than expected, but we'll get there. Got the door open now. I've just put this hurdle here. I'm hoping that we'll just be able to filter them and this will keep them in place. And then I'll filter out through the door, but it's quite a low drop there. And this is the last bull out of the shed there was five bulls in there and another 10 heifers which for us is, re is a really good number of heifers to bulls there'll be a nice few coming up to the herd so we'll just get this one around there with the rest of the bulls and then we'll ship them around to the other shed okay so i got the jcb set up behind me this is just as you can see covering the gap in the yard they're going into that shed there so we'll get someone to stand there bring them through hopefully all will go well I'm just going to put this up on here. there is the job done for today we've got the bulls in the shed just behind me here and they really do look bar that one and if you can see them because of the sun uh, they do look really small a lot smaller than these in comparison but they've got a nice segregation there they won't be getting together so that brings us to the end of the video i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time